Hello and welcome to the Rope Access and Climbing Podcast, YouTube edition. I am your host, Mikey Stevenson, and today we're going to be talking about understanding rope access anchors. If this is your first time here, please make sure to subscribe and follow us wherever you get your podcasts. Step into your harness and get ready for a podcast about the vertical world. Hey, welcome back to today's episode. On today's episode, we're going to be talking about the anchor system as a whole, breaking down the definitions, as well as going to show you a few examples of what these are. So stay tuned. Anchor systems are one of those things that a lot of people don't quite understand. When they say, hey, go check that anchor or hey, what about that anchorage? What does that mean? And a lot of people struggle to really decipher the difference between anchor point and an anchorage point. So here I am today to kind of go through the definitions for you. So first of all, what is an anchor? Anchor is a general term used to describe where you could attach ropes. Anchorage is a structure or a natural feature that provides a location to attach to. Anchorage point is a set location on a structure or a natural feature of your choice. Anchor device is an item of equipment that is removable. Anchor point is the point where you would physically attach yourself to the anchor device. All right, well, I'm gonna dive into a couple examples here for you. So first one is going to be in a training center. So there's aluminum truss. Okay, this is an engineered structure. Um, and then we have a nylon sling and a carabiner and we'll kind of dive into each part of that image. So here we are. Okay, so as you can see, you have the aluminum truss structure. We have the tape sling with the aluminum carabiner. All right, so our aluminum truss as a whole is our anchorage. Our anchorage point is the location that we have chosen to hang that sling. The anchor device is the nylon tape sling uh, that you see here. Obviously, depending on the environment that you're working, this device could be a steel sling or what we call a load lifter. Uh, next up is the anchor point. This is what closes the system here. And in this case is a locking carabiner. All right, so that was one scenario little training environment but relatable to the industrial industry so say it was a steel beam structure um, you know you put a steel sling over there you know pretty much the same scenario next up is our tree okay and more a little bit more recreational based but uh, definitely relatable so this is a natural feature and um, so let's check that one out all right, so here we got the uh, a, a recreational uh, environment. We have the tree into the bedrock here, okay? Um, make sure to inspect the uh, quality of the tree. Give it a good push. Make sure it's a decent sized tree. And so our tree here in this circumstance is our anchorage. Our anchorage point is down here as close to the ground as possible, eliminating any potential levering action so you don't uproot it. Here in this uh, particular situation, we are using a rope that's going around the tree. Um, and depending on what you have readily available, you could use other things like cordelette, uh, tape slings, etc. And then, as you see here, it's knotted and then there's kind of a focal point and there's a carabiner to attach to. So that is our anchor point. So when you are looking at both of these scenarios, they do follow the same path. So you have your anchorage, your anchorage point, your anchor device and your anchor point. Okay. Now keep in mind that all situations are going to differ slightly. It all really depends on the industry that you are working in. Now, when we are 
selecting our anchors, we got to make sure that they are quote bomb proof. What does that mean? Really unquestionable is the term that we're really looking for. So always adhere to your local legislation or the company policies and procedures. We talked about rope access compliance. I'll link that up here in a second. But we talked about rope access standards, government regulations and company policies and how they kind of work together. Now, we have to understand that the strength of the anchor needs to be unquestionable. Well, you also have to understand what that looks like. So when you're looking at an anchor, you have to inspect to make sure that it's not too sharp, it's not too hot, um, you're not going to add any additional hazard to the situation. Anchor selection is one of those things that we're doing and we don't even know it. But yet we have to be very confident in what we're attaching to to make sure that we're not going to have an anchor failure. If there is ever a time that you are attaching to an anchor and you have the possibility of it failing, find something else and don't use it. It doesn't make sense to use something that's questionable. Okay. Now in an environment like the, the tree, you may have to use multiple trees in that environment and equalize them together to make an adequate anchor. And that's fine, but there's ways of doing that. So before heading out, make sure that you get the proper training to be able to select the adequate anchors. Anchor selection is a mandatory skill for all level trees. This skill should also be passed on to your level twos as they're the next in line. So take the time and teach them what you learned here today. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications as I put out new content every Sunday. Now, until next time, see you later.